This is what's called objectivity. The track star who hasn't done his homework wants to argue again. His opinion is his opinion, and mine is only mine. Yes, but I say there's something else, something beyond mine and yours. We must strive for objectivity, I say. Perfect like objectivity, he says. That's like a chimera. Chimera? You know, ain't real. Yes, I say, but yet you push for it. The way you push for the perfect hundred meters, the way you split the air to get this thing that doesn't exist. It isn't winning the great sprinter goes for, is it? It's faster and faster, better and better. 10 flat, 9 6, 9 2, 9 flat. Would you stop at 9 flat if you knew you could do better? Sure, he says. But this is for his smirking buddies or the girl whose eyes keep flinching from his tan calves, his muscled neck. Of course not, I say, but now I'm talking to myself. Why bother to run better when you can never reach perfection? What is perfection here? A one-second race is twice as long as a half-second race. Chop that in half, you've got that half left. All the eyes are tabula razzy. A smile stuck here, an actual yawn blooms there. You have to push for zero, and so we push and gasp and go cold all over on the hottest day, tear our lungs to the taste of blood, and if we get it, the zero, we've lost it. A race that takes no time is not a race. It's the wound that wants to take us to death, I say, as the bell rings, and out they go, looking suspiciously over their shoulders at me and the weirdly perfect circle I have chalked from the doorway, precisely centered, I hope, on my small graying head. <laughs>